We live? We live. Yes, there we are. It is good to see everybody. Oh, I got one hand out of you real quick. Uh, this is episode 24. We have been busy today. Uh, so we appreciate everybody sharing this out. Thank you. This is episode 24 behind the tool belt. TC Backer Construction and Horizon Lawns LLC. Um, amazing. You know... You saw the roof, one of the things I saw, and they're looking for sales professionals. We're gonna get into it, why everyone's sharing. Uh, please drop your town. But they're looking for sales professionals. Mm -hmm. So if you're interested, there's a lot of people that worked in different industries that maybe changed. They don't wanna go back maybe to the confinements or the changes in that industry. Now's a good time to try your, your, uh, your hand at sales, okay? So, it has to be a great fit for everybody, cultural and everything. So you can be great in sales and maybe not great for a culture. It's okay. But this is a great, one of the, there's a lot of things I love about the culture at TC Backer Construction. One of the great things, you don't have to go out and get leads. All my years in sales, canvas and knocking doors. Now I did that because I loved the businesses. So if I was in a neighborhood, and we'll talk about that at another time, about barbecues, uh, and things like that, and yard signs, and just taking care of the neighbors. But I saw it today, Ty, you know, and I took a little video clip of you picking up shingles. Mm -hmm. You know, everyone that's on there, whew, it's hot today. It oh, it's not hot in here, though. But uh, just, you know, you, you, that brand is you, and you're that brand. Mm -hmm. So if it feeds your family, don't you want to make sure your family gets fed well? Absolutely. Yeah, right? Like, you can have McDonald's, and you can also have T-Bones, or you can have the choice of both. You know, some people like to have the choice. Leaving the job site the way, like it's, you know, that 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 co culture feeds your family is the way to do it. You know how many people came up to you and came up to the team be and said how great of a job you do in the community there? Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. Thanks that's for everything you did. Thanks for picking it up. We noticed <coughs> that no one had to come ask you. Yeah. You know, people don't want to go up and ask you. Just so you know, if you're a contractor, I'll give you a pro tip. Do it without being asked. Right. You know what I mean? Like the homeowner's busy. We were talking about that today. Mm -hmm. I said, who does not busy and has a list of things? Who really wants something else? Who wants to have a contractor come in and then go and do extra stuff when they go home yeah. that they didn't know they had to do? Right. right. And you were like, they shouldn't even think we were here. Exactly. Right. Yeah. And it looks nicer. Yeah. They should think the landscapers yeah. came in even then. Yeah, made. somebody said, well, that'll make them happy. I was like, it shouldn't make them anything because they shouldn't know that we made a mess in there. <laughs> yeah. It was the neighbor's yard. Yeah. Right. This is where the trash was. Right. Like, I don't even want her to know. And then Shane said, if anything, we're going to make it look nicer than it did when we were here. Absolutely. It's part of integrity, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's part of integrity is, is you know, do how you act when people aren't watching you. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah, and man. that's that's one of them things, you know, pick the piece of trash up, pick the cigarette butt up. Yeah. Um, quick shout out to all my guys. I appreciate you guys today, man. Every, every one of my guys worked really hard. It was a very hot day out mm -hmm. today. Um, you know, everyone, everyone dug deep and, and got some stuff done. I know, at least on my side of the fence, um, we had a lot of curveballs thrown our way today. Mm -hmm. um, it's just kind of how it works out. It usually works out on the stressful days like that. Um, but all my guys pulled together. Um, you know, you guys, you guys busted your butts today for me, and I appreciate you. Yeah. Um, shout out real quick. We got we got a couple of employees up in here. Um, Jim Hankey's up in here. Tyler Richards, Chris Mendez, Derek. Keith Troop, Derek, um, Jared Haggins. What's up, buddy? Um, Geo's wife Jacqueline is in here. Mm -hmm. um, Daniel Barker, what's up, man? <clears throat> Keith Troop, good to see you, buddy. Yep, Lolo. Richard, Andy Yenner, good to see you, buddy. <coughs> Lolo. Colin, Colin Cross. Yep, Colin. Hey, and a big shout out to uh, Tyler. Uh, Saturday or Sunday was his birthday. I think it was Sunday. Yeah, Sunday. Was Tyler's birthday. Yep. So happy birthday, buddy. Belated birthday. Yep. Um, thank you for all your hard work. And uh, Chris told me that you, you pulled through for us once again, man. So thank you very much. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. It was good to see everybody. Keith, it was good to see you. Mm -hmm. uh, it was definitely great to see everybody today. Uh, we appreciate everybody sharing. I mean, the things that we saw today, Chuck in the truck, not Pete in a pickup. Um, uh, and, and if you are a Pete in a pickup out there, they're looking for qualified. You know, there's nothing wrong with you went out and you started your own business. And this COVID-19 not really a theory or philosophy. It's did it change 
did it change the game? And it changed everything. So you have to maneuver differently through it, and there's opportunity there. But what I'm getting at is you might have went out on your own, and you might have lost some employees even, and you were yeah. doing well. And yeah. if you don't feel like it takes a lot of strength, and that's what's important about culture is you feed when you're down, the culture feeds you. Yeah, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. And that's like this crazy empowering thing, and that's why culture is important. Absolutely. Um, or else people wouldn't say, I have Nike on, or, or you know, um, we have a, um, a Harley Davidson. They right. would just say motorcycle, right? Because right. it says something. So when you get your roof done, TC Backer Construction, people know that name as a quality brand. Right. Absolutely. In the community, through yeah. and through. And the culture the culture represents a lot, man. If, if you have good culture in your company, um, when when the going gets tough and, and you, it's time to grind, your good culture is going to pull you through those Absolutely. things. You know what I mean? Pe guys, guys will remember the good things that you do and and you know the, the the amount of work that you put in for them and the appreciation that you show them yeah. when it's time to put in that hard work. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's a lot easier to dig deeper um, for somebody that appreciates you and, and yeah. stuff. Absolutely, versus... the, the whole thing pulls <clears throat> closer together. I feel, um, you know. You know, and, and it wasn't like I really expected anything out of anyone, but, you know, I think everyone takes pride in what they do and takes takes pride in the company that they work for, and they all treat it as if it's their own company. Right. And that's huge. To, to be able to find as many people over the years that we have found to, that takes pride in the company that they work for, had, had, we've been very fortunate for that. And the true, right. their true colors about how they feel about the company mm -hmm. has really shined through over the past few months. You know, Derek, Amen. the Gunnies, the, the, the Collins, the, all, everybody. You know what I mean? Like, I it's can't, tough to go through the yeah, names because yeah, right, I feel like we yeah, always Keith, miss somebody. Yeah, Keith, uh, uh, Greg. Um, I mean, everybody, everybody. Right. And if I miss somebody, it's not. And Jacob, there's Jacob. Thanks for checking in. Yeah. What's up, uh, Jacob? Jim Roast, Ryan Roast, his son's on here right now. Jim Roast, I don't think he has a Facebook page. But you know what I mean? Those guys and Jim, I forget about Jim right. sometimes. Jim runs the whole entire Delaware division for right. us. I forget about him. Yeah, that's how good of a job wow. he does. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? That's um, amazing. Shout out to all of you. Yeah, for Bob, sure. you know, everybody, everybody. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just, I can't, you know, and Kim and Jocelyn and Jana, you know, being my rock at home when I go home at night and, right. and giving me the, the uplifting spirit that I need when I come home. She's always got a smile on her face no matter what. Yeah. You know what I mean? No matter Amen. what. Amen. Yep. You know, she's there. She knows that's the, the energy at the house has to remain happy. Right. You know, when yeah, I come home and man. she does, she does absolutely. whatever she has to do. And it might be a s selfish thing for me, and, and, and I don't expect that. Right. You know what I mean? She just does that. Yeah. You know, because that, that she feels as if that's her job. She takes care of the house. She takes care of the kids. And believe me, looking after Ty Backer is a full-time kid. <laughs> do, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't pay her. I can't. I can't pay her enough money. Right, amen. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So don't anybody think for one second she doesn't do anything. You know what I'm saying? She's the one she's she's the glue that holds this ship together, man. Um but yeah, uh, yeah everybody, man. It's just, it's good stuff. And um the, the fellowship and the camaraderie that we have, um, the momentum that we had prior pandemic had had pushed us straight through it. Right. Um, you know, they're talking I was talking to Jim Hankey on the way here tonight. And we were talking about, you know, the second round in the fall and stuff like that. It's like, dude, we're not even over the first round yet. Like, the yeah. numbers haven't even declined. Like, mm -hmm. like, but I still don't know anybody that had it. And Jim was like, I don't know anyone that had it. And anytime I talk to somebody and ask them if they know anybody that had it, he still doesn't know anybody. Or they don't know that anybody had it. But I, And I'm not trying to get arrogant or cocky with it or, or not say that it's not true or right. that it's not real. Because it would have to be a global scamdemic. It, I mean, I, I doubt that. It would that. be tough to pull off if it yes. was absolutely fabricated. Right, I believe that it's out there. I think the numbers might be fudged a little bit. And um, as much and as, as long in the hours that we've all put in and, yeah. and the situation we put ourselves in on a daily basis, I know we're trying to stay safe with, with masks and, and gloves and sanitation stuff. Yeah. Um, but you can't tell me that. I mean, it, it's tough to, to remain germ free 100% on a daily basis. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's just impossible or else we couldn't do what we, we couldn't go to work. Yeah. And especially now these times, man, it, 
It was 96 degrees out down in Maryland today, man. Right. Up on that roof, it's probably 140, 150 degrees when you're sitting there working on them shingles. Oh, oh. And you got to have yeah. a guy that has a mask on and you expect him not to wipe the sweat off his face. Yeah. Right. Like, it's it's yeah. impossible. Yeah. Um, you know, it's just, it, I knew it was going to be a challenge to get everyone on board for the new norm. Mm -hmm. But I think that our guys are doing a really good job with it. Yeah. Um, you know, everyone is, is staying safe and, and following the protocols properly. Mm -hmm. I don't get any complaints from any of the supervisors in the field, from any of the builders that we work for, mm -hmm. um, on guys not wearing right. any any masks or anything like that. Mm -hmm. You know, so I'm definitely proud of them. Yes. We actually got Mike Davis in here right now. Yeah, He's a, um, he works for Lennar Homes. We do a lot of work for Lennar Homes. What's going on, Mike? Good to, good to have you yeah, in here man. checking us out, man. Yep. <coughs> Kim, she's out there. Jana. Yeah. Mike Hanscom, my accountant, we need to get him on the show. Yeah, for sure. Mike Hanscom, yeah. he's the man. He's done my taxes for over 15 years. Love to have um, him. Knows the, all the ins and outs, does IRAs, does some, uh, some other things if, yeah. you know, with, with money. He's just the money man. Yeah. You need to know where to put your money and, and how to spend your money. He's the guy to talk to. Yeah. So, uh, anyhow, Nicole Bender, thanks for joining us. Um, Mike Hanscom, always a pleasure. Mike Davis, thank you. Um, who else is on here? Christy. Yeah, Good Christy Rasberger. I've seen her in here. Yeah. We should try to get her on the show. Yeah. Or maybe pop down to pop down to one of her houses that she has going yes. on there and do a do a walk through a live show down there. And we talked to cool. Wayne Scott today. He wants to come on the show. Yeah. So we, we got some good we got some good lineup of uh special guest. Yeah, that, yes. That we can some good local people, man. Yeah. Some good local people, local business. Mm -hmm. Local business is what's gonna push us through this thing. Get this economy yeah. recovered. Local business, man. Um, buying outside of your local your, your local area mm -hmm. is not gonna help your local area. No. You know what I mean? Sure. You need to go out to eat, you need to go spend money at yeah. the at the stores. Um, local business hundred yeah. percent. You know, and I hear people say, you know, don't go to McDonald's and don't go to Wendy's and and I thought about this one night. They're not necessarily local businesses, they're yeah. franchise, but it's local people that are working there. Right. And we Yeah, one of our friends either. owns you one know, of these Chick fil A's. The yeah, the TJ so. Maxx's and, and, and those big box stores. Yeah. Well it, there's there's a ripple effect there. Right. You know what I mean? If we don't support the Lowe's, but in the same breath I wanna say yes, support the Ace Hardware. In Dover, and we do. Right. That's why I said that. They, I don't drive the whole way in the lows, but you know, we still need to support the local businesses. Absolutely. The businesses yeah. that are in our local area because our friends and families and relatives and their right friends there. and family, they all work at these places mm -hmm. and these stores. Yeah. You know, Rita's Ice Cream or Ice, um, at any of those places, you know, and then of course the mom and pop shops most definitely support them. Yeah, absolutely. You, you know what I mean? And I, and I might be wrong in saying support Wendy's, but. You know, I see those people when we pull up to the drive through It's like, I know that girl that's in there working. Right. You know, if I'm not supporting this business, right. you know, then we're not supporting them and their family. And um, Amen. You know, me and Jana, we, we, we went on a shopping spree. Um, we haven't been out shopping forever, like I'm sure everyone else has. But I said to her, I said, let's go out here and stimulate the economy. Yeah. You, you know, you yes. know what I'm saying? And we, yeah, went, yes. we went a little crazy and overboard, but we've saved so much money lately. Do you know what I mean? By yeah. not going out to eat and by not going shopping and, and just spending money. Right. You know what right. I mean? So we went out and uh, right. we felt like we did a pretty good job. We we did a pretty it, good job. Yeah, on we it. did a dent. We put a big dent in the bank. Did your part in the economy? Yeah, man. There you go. We made up for the past three or four months of not shopping. Making me want to go do my part. It's great. Like <laughs> like we got t shirts and shorts for the summer. Like we were trying to act as if you know right. just feel some type of normalcy. Right. You know we had to have a mask on, which was okay. If that's what they're asking me to do, that's okay. As long as the stores are open. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like. Let's let's get back to and I don't even know what green means. You know, we've been green this entire time. That's how I feel. Um, definitely, there's been no red light for us. It's been all gas, no break. Um, so I don't know if I feel it as much as other people have felt it that have to stay home or 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 living in fear in their home, yeah. afraid to go out. Um, thank goodness, you know, I haven't experienced that, and and I sympathize for those people who. Yeah, who, absolutely. Who are living in fear. Right. And like, that's that's part of our part too, man. You have to I, I said something, I don't know if it was last week or the week before that about perception. Um you have to be compassionate for everyone's point of view, man. 
um, through everything in any kind of situation, any subject you want to apply that to, it will apply. Um, everyone's perception is different, you know, so, and, and it's okay. It's okay to have different mm -hmm. thoughts and different outlooks on things. Yeah. You got to be compassionate and understand that people have real feelings about things. And, you know, who are you to tell them that their feelings are wrong? Absolutely. You know what I mean? So Absolutely. If, if you want to, if you're scared of this thing and you want to stay home, then stay home. You mm -hmm. know, no, I'm not going to judge you. Right. But at the same time, we got to understand that at some point in time, we got to get this shit back running. Man. Yeah, we man. have to. Yeah. We have to. Yeah. So I think, I think a lot of the local, the local businesses, at least around here, I think I've been doing a really good job to accommodate, um, follow protocols mm -hmm. and still be there for the consumers. Right. You know, exactly. <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, it was good to be in traffic today. It was good to see everyone. Everyone in the neighborhood was glad to be out. I mean, of yeah. all ages, everybody yeah, was glad. Um, and everyone did their thing. Yeah. You know, we saw yeah. someone that had a mask and gloves and yeah. cool. And, you know, people that didn't. Most people didn't now. Mm -hmm. um, but whatever you do, yeah. I mean, it's right. all good. Yeah. You know? right. Glenn Moore's out there. Hey, Glenn, good to see you, buddy. Glenn's a local siding contractor. Um, he's actually from the Lancaster County area. But <clears throat> Thanks for being here. Yeah, heck of a great guy. Um, has called upon me to give him a hand. Um, has used our services many times. Um, you know, there's a relationship me and Glenn has always had that, you know, I never had to worry about him, and, and he hasn't had to worry about me. And right. I'm sure nice. he's, I, he's had opportunity to, to grab work that we were doing and, and I'm and I think maybe once or twice I had an opportunity to take work that he has. Right. But we had this we've had this unspoken um you know agreement, I guess, right. for lack of better terms, that you know, he didn't have to worry about me. He's gracious enough to, to let us do work when he gets behind and, and I'm grateful for that. And he's a hell of a fisherman. Nice. And again, Catfish Mafia, Jacob. He is a hell of a fisherman. He's a professional fisherman. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, he, nice. he does catfish tournaments. Um, I think he does tour guides. Or not tour guides, but he's a... a, a, like, a, a like tour a, guide. Like they a catfish. Takes people captain. out. Yeah, right. yeah, takes people out. And then he's a hell of a flounder fisherman, too. He's in the same tournaments that I'm in down in nice. Delaware. Yeah, oh, great nice guy. Man. Hell of a nice guy. Yeah, good people. Jacob, good to see you, buddy. Mackenzie, Jean Miller, Scott Hicks. What's up, brother? We got the whole Lenar family on here tonight. Good to see everybody. If you would like to be on the show, message TC back or message somebody in the company. Um, please, you know, if we don't see it and you see it, you're like, I'd love to come on. We'd love to have you. So mm -hmm. we can do it virtually or you Sydney. can come to the studio. Sydney so, Shepard, good to see you, brother. Thanks for joining us. Please start a watch party, drop your town, and share this. You know, a great way to uh, help TC back or one of the ways is they put themselves out there. So, you know, before COVID, I said this is this is how everyone is communicating. This is the future, mm -hmm. social commerce. So you just allow people to meet the company, mm -hmm. meet the culture, meet the people. Yeah. Um, and so you've heard people say on there, we'd like to post pictures of the job you did at our our hunting club or yeah. whatever. Yeah. yeah. You know, that's these are the this is the future culture. You're yeah. seeing the future. Your company's going to be here too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's not whether or not. So you yeah. know, we appreciate you sharing. If there's anything we can do, let us know. But drop your town. If you have a business, drop your website. You know, this, just the comment section is its own virtual community. Right. I mean, it really is. Right. Right. Um, so if you need something, message somebody here. Yeah. Uh, we love helping this community. It is in our best interest. We always say if everyone has full pockets, no one's going to take from anybody else. So we want to teach yeah. you how to fill your there's pockets. There's enough food out there for everyone to eat, man. Yeah. Yeah. There's so much food out there, especially right now. Yeah. You know, there, there's a lot of a lot of stuff that can be done. There's a lot of work out there for everyone. Absolutely. Um, Mike Davis, I like that idea, man. We yeah, do need too. to we need to get that pictures of that up here, man. We can do that next show. Bob's got a lot of great pictures of that place. Yeah, that was, so a, that was a good job. Yeah, Bruno's got a lot of great pictures. Of that place. <clears throat> yep. So the share button's at the bottom left. You just share. It goes on your wall. And then you can share and you can hit start watch party. Yeah. And like our page. Follow us. Yeah, please. Y'all have done Horizon a great Lawns. job. Yes. You know, like mm -hmm. and, and uh, follow HorizonLawnDLLC.com. Yeah, behind the blade. You get, yep. actually get to see behind the blade. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, you know, I mean, you get to see it all. That's the thing is you get right. to see it all. Yep. And everyone always comes up and compliments. And they, you know, it's not like it's set up ahead of time. Right. I mean, you know that, right? This yeah. morning was it? Right. I, I didn't even know that this morning was happening, so that's how unset up this stuff is sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> but who wouldn't love to we see contractors right. say, you know what, instead of you um, hit recommendations, 
if it was live and people got to see for themselves, that's mm -hmm. that's like yeah. the real arena. Yeah. That's yeah, like that's looking at thing. MMA on contract. I'm not ashamed of what I do. I'm okay being, being a blue collar business owner. I'm okay right. with that. I'm proud of what I do. I'm proud of the products that we're installing. The HDZ shingles right now. I was with a homeowner tonight around 5, 5.30 tonight, and I was showing them how it when you nail the top layer of shingles that it hits the bottom layer of shingles as well and that the nailing area is 600% larger than the the existing shingles that we used to use that GAF is 600% 600% I believe it when I yeah. saw it I said mechanically fastened I flipped it over I showed them the dimples they were like oh my god you're right yeah yeah they were they, they were amazed I'm like right. I don't know why because GAF's been in business for 110 years they're the oldest and the largest shingle manufacturer in the country why is it taking you 110 years to come out with the HDZs? Like for real? Well, it's I like mean, be, before unlimited win ratings, right? You, right. You, They're I mean, huge. Yeah. It's. It, I mean, I think it can fall under the if it's not broke, don't fix it type thing. Right. You know. Yes. Yeah. They just worked. Right. You know. Yeah. And and I don't They're know. Innovators. Yeah. Amazing. Someone products. somewhere realized that mm -hmm. you know maybe it would make sense to make these shingles a little bit stronger. Yeah. And they did it, and it's a great product, yeah. man. It's a great product when you it get is. that full system on there. Mm -hmm. You, it's it's the best roof you can it get, is. man. It is, I mean, hands it, down. You, you can't put in a, a better roof on that, at least no. in the asphalt shingle world. Absolutely. You cannot I've put in a better shingle on that. I've installed shingles for over 20 years of my <clears throat> a child and adulthood life, and hands down, these are the best shingles I've ever saw. Yeah. I mean, I've done the Owens, I've went through the Owens Cornings, I've went through Certainties, I went through Tamco's, um, I went through Elk before GAF, GAF purchased Elk. Um, we actually have some old elk GAF shingles at the shop that we pulled out of Linden Avenue's garage, yeah. my original, the original shop yeah. on Linden Avenue, 731 Linden Avenue. Um, uh, on some of the pages that you pull up on, on the internet, it'll still show that 731 Linden Avenue is the wow. office. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But uh, anyhow, we they, they came in paper packages. It said elk shingles on it. Yeah, been through cool. them, but hands down, the, the GAF HDZ shingle right now is the best shingle I've ever worked with, man. Yeah, so if anyone hasn't, if this is, you know, someone's first time on here, Mike Davis, I, I, don't, I haven't seen you on here before, but I don't know if you've heard us talk about these HDZs or if you've ever heard of them. Um, they came out with a new shingle. It's, it's mechanically fastened instead of um, relying on glue. Mm -hmm. um, they're, they're machined together. Yeah. And when you use them, they um, if you're familiar with an old shingle, the nailing strip is probably about the width of your finger. Mm -hmm. um, the new HDZs is an inch and a half, so they're about this big. Yeah. You can nail anywhere in that area. Mm -hmm. They say you only need four nails on it. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know that we're ever really going to adopt that because we we like to five, six, yeah. our, six our shingles. I, but I have not seen the guys <clears throat> install less than five nails, yeah. usually six. Yeah. Now, to circle back to what you were just saying about the HDZs, GAF is doing away with the, the traditional HD shingle. Are they? It's going straight to HDZs. Awesome. So we're yeah. just working through stock we're right now. We're working through stock I right do now. notice that. And you can blend them together. That's the beautiful thing. Yeah. So no one panic. Nice. Right. You can blend the That's new nice. shingle with the old shingle. Yeah. It works. The same size, same reveal, yep. same everything. Yeah, you'd never be Colors. able to pick it out. You would never be able to pick it out. No. But you can have an HD shingle. That's like giving me, I guess, a Gibson guitar. I'm not a musician. A Gibson's a pretty nice guitar. Yeah. Like, you give it to me, and I'll be like, listen, see that Gibson guitar? It was signed. Yeah. And you give someone else, they play with the band. So you give TC Backer Construction the shingle, mm -hmm. and they give you a solid roof system. Absolutely. Yeah, because I watched it. It was a system. Y'all came in, psh, beam, 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 beam. Yeah. Everything went up. Yep. Roof comes off. Mm -hmm. uh, new boards go up. Yep. Cleaning up the whole time. Mm -hmm. yep. Up and down, up and down. Going to the dump, going to the dump, going to the dump. Keeping it all clean, sweeping up outside. Yep. And then psh, 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 here comes Myers. Yep. Mm -hmm. Puts it up. Yep. Stacks it up. Yep. Here comes the paper. Here come the shingles right behind it. One guy paper, one guy undoing it, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. On, yeah. on both sides. It's like so six. It absolutely is, man. It's it probably each other like a caterpillar. Mm -hmm. And then before you know it, you got a butterfly. Yeah, man. That's right. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I like that analogy, yeah, man. Yeah. It's good. So that's absolutely. what you saw today, man. It went from yeah. ugly to, to pretty. Right. You right. know? Right. So it was pretty cool, yeah. but it's a system. So you all have an efficient system. So to mm -hmm. the client, you get a value-added product. Right. If I did it once in a while and it took me a week to do the job, I'm going to have to charge you a certain type of amount. Mm -hmm. right? right. And 
But when you have a system, you have efficiencies. Absolutely. And you're always working on efficiencies yes, with absolutely. technology. Yes. I mean, you had that amazing, who would have thought 20 years ago that you would be driving a, 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 a dump truck bed around without the truck? Right. Right? It's yeah. crazy, man. And uh, so those are just all these little things. Yeah. But you all invest in the technologies. Um, yes. You know, air well, guns, right? All this stuff to for efficiencies. And there's still people out there. When I was, and I'll, I'll move it over to you, but when I was framing houses, I first framed with the Mennonite, and he made me cut off with a hand axe where the rafters and mm -hmm. the joists meet. Mm -hmm. And then I worked for someone else, and they cut it ahead of time. And I was like, why'd you do that? And he mm -hmm. was like, dude, that's how you do it. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wow, that's right. how he did it. Right. Yeah. He was efficient. Yeah. So when they went up, they were ready for the roofing right away. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. But I learned the hard way, yes. the way not to do it. And right. so you've done that and over time and Absolutely. doing it. So you apply that to the client. Yes. That's how you're able to do that system. We're yeah. constantly trying to improve our system. Yeah, and that, Const that um, you know, that experience is good it's good to have learned how to do it the hard way mm -hmm. you know what yeah. i mean because then when you when you learn how to do things more efficiently mm -hmm. you understand why they're more efficiently yeah you understand how yes. it's more efficient you understand the mistakes that you made mm. that you know what you have to change to be more efficient yeah <clears throat> absolutely you know and unfortunately i've learned just about everything the hard way yeah <laughs> you know and why that is <laughs> is because i'm afraid to ask questions right do you know right. what I mean? The older I get, it's kind of like I just need to get straight to the chase. Right. You know what I mean? I'm not so afraid to ask questions. Right. You, you know what I mean? Only the, the, the only, what do they say? The only dumb question not asked is the one not asked. Right. Yeah. And if you're in the right culture, which you guys provide, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, then it's not a problem and it's called progression, not perfection. That's right. right. You know, and yeah. you all do a really good job at that. I mean, I see it firsthand as an outsider, but being an insider, mm -hmm. you know, doing the media part, looking back. And uh, it, today was definitely, you know, it just shows. Mm -hmm. And you see, I believe all those views was because people want authenticity. What have they been asking for? Transparency. Right. Yeah, yeah. Hardworking people. Yeah, absolutely. And earn your, earn your business. Right. Yeah. Don't sell you. Matter of fact, bringing up sales yeah. was this big thing behind yeah, us. There's, there's a, an opportunity. Um, and, you know, we're going to get into it as I go out to these jobs. I'll be able to, I'm a salesperson. Right, I'm, mar I'm really a marketing person. I don't sell people. I I educate them mm -hmm. right on what this culture is. This yeah. is a career mm -hmm. where you can have a great life, be independent, be focused, do something you love. If you're a salesperson that doesn't want to be in the virtual on the phone way, um, which you can do on the phone, but you go and see, you know, you like going out to see people and driving. There's people like me that like that. Mm -hmm. um, right. A lot of salespeople because they have that type of energy, yep. charismatic. Mm -hmm. You like people. Yes. You can start a conversation. You're not odd in front of people. You don't stare at them for 10 minutes. Right. Like, there's, you know, you know if you are or not. If you were in waitressing, if you were a bartender, amazing teachers, uh, maybe you don't want to go back to teaching. If you were in civil service, anyone that cares is actually, there's no closers. Those are old words. They, they don't even do that. It's about listening. And then if you have the right answer, or you come back and get it. It's about being honest and authentic and servicing mm -hmm. and knowing that you're going to be in that community. Mm -hmm. um, so owning it, you right. know, that's what the culture is about. And Absolutely. when you do that and you ask questions in the beginning, it's always rough. Yeah. It is, right? Because right? you have to ask a lot of questions and you feel like it's a burden. Mm -hmm. But if you ask those questions in the beginning, then you get in your groove. You can always ask them and then you just do your thing. It becomes you. Yeah. But you just have to relax, ask questions, be a student of the game always. But in the beginning, just really be a student. Yeah. Right. Go home and Google videos, learn about it. Just engulf yourself in 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 roofing uh, uh, windows, doors, and you know you don't even really need to know anything because the team does. You just have to be able to listen and be able to know the measurements, or they might even have. But be able to just take something and say. What does somebody want? Somebody's not buying an HD shingle. What right. they're buying is they want to know that when they give you that $200 a month that you have financing, that this is good. They don't have to worry about it, yeah. man. That you all can go back to Christmases and Thanksgivings and no leaks and no mold. They don't, that's great if they want to know it. They're the engineering type and mm -hmm. hey, you got to be prepared for that. Mm -hmm. But most people want to know that you're going to be a company that's going to be around here and if something does happen, that you're going to be here, that I can call you, you're, you know, I can see you in the community, 
and right. you love what you do, yeah. you know, and yeah, you man. keep it local, and that's it. That's it. It's yeah. simple. It's not complicated, but you have to like going to see people, yeah, and listen to them. Yeah, Absolutely. that's the big thing, man. You have to listen. Yeah, you have to listen. Yeah, you know, a lot, a lot of when we meet homeowners, you shouldn't really be talking very much. No. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's certain questions that you should be asking, and the rest, you know, you should be letting the homeowner tell you what they need. Yeah. Why they need it. Yeah. You don't. You don't just want to sell someone a roof to sell someone a roof. No. You know, and that's <clears> the thing too. I, we were up. Me and Lauren were up in. Um, uh, I can't remember the town, but. Um, Bermudian Springs Road, wherever the heck that is, mm -hmm. um, the homeowner actually got up on the roof with me, and I was explaining to him about the import the importance of um, ventilation. So I didn't feel comfortable going into his attic. One, it was 100 degrees, and then secondly, I just didn't feel comfortable going in his house. So anyhow, he's describing to me these situations like this area of the roof is really soft, but that's where my bathroom fan is. I said, that's why. No, I asked him, is your bathroom right here? Mm -hmm. He said, yes. And then he crawled down and he looked. He's like, yeah, that's my bathroom window. He said, how did you know that? I said, because they're exhausting your bathroom vent into your attic. He said, right. get out. I said, yes, that shouldn't be like that. That right. should come straight up through. I said, back in the day, they used to take the hose and drop it into your soffit. And I said, that's, that's, not, that's against code, today's codes. Um, and then we were talking about some other things. There were some other soft spots on his roof and stuff. But when I educated him, um, he's like, well, what can we do to correct this? Right. I said, well, what we'll do is we'll give you, uh, he had a, his, his dryer vent went through the wall. So we didn't have to do anything about that. That went through the wall in the basement. And then I told him we'd get him a bathroom vent and then we would remove the layer of sheeting along the bottom, um, on the front and back, put baffles in there. He actually... Where I was going with that was, is he actually went in his attic. I said, there's a couple things that I need you to do. I need you to go up in your attic, A, measure how far apart your trusses are, so then I knew what size baffles. Second, I said, I need you to get up there, shut the lights off, and tell me if you can see daylight coming through where your soffit area would be down by where your gutters are. So he did that. He, he snapped 25 photos. There was his bathroom vent laying on top of the insulation. Oh, man. Insulation was packed in where the soffit was. Like, dude, oh, he, everything I told him, like, I don't know if he was challenging me, uh -huh. but when he went in his attic, everything that I imagined was going on in his What's attic going? was what was going on in his attic. Because you knew it from yeah. diagnosing yeah, the man, symptoms. Just by feeling his sheeting. Right. Do, do you know what I mean? Yeah, Walking on his and that's roof. experience. Yeah. That yeah, shows man. your experience. Yeah. So you can take symptoms from asking some questions and identify... You know, the diagnosis. Yeah, man. Yeah, and, and our frequent watchers, I'm sure you guys remember when we had that show that we were talking about ventilation, we popped those pictures up on the mm -hmm. screen back there. Oh, yes. 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 Where everything was just black mold, the whole inside of the attic. That right there is exactly what happens mm -hmm. when you're in those situations. Yeah, right. Especially when you throw some, some humid bathroom air in there. Yeah, man. Cool. And that's what I said to him. Yeah. I, and I said one more thing. I said, tell me if your nail... You'll see little na your nails, your roofing nails sticking through. I said, let me know if they're rusty. Mm -hmm. And he sent me pictures of his nails rusty. All rusty. I explained to him, I said, I bet your nails that are sticking through your sheeting are rusty. He was like, why? I said, Be due to the moisture. Yeah. You know, I said. It's, it's rotten from the inside out. It's Absolutely. rotten from the inside out. Yep. And, and it's and old of, plywood. Yeah, and a lot of people that are not educated, the first thing they're going to think is their roof is leaking. Mm, right. It has to be water That's has what, to be exactly getting Exactly what I said to him. I said, yeah. it's not because your roof's leaking. I said, it's just not. It's like a living and breathing thing. Your house has to breathe. Right. You know what I mean? It, 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 there's it's like taking a soda noise. bottle in science class where you cut it, you put some flowers in there and grow it. It just doesn't get any air to it. Right. So it becomes whatever they call it. Yeah. What they call yeah, it. Your house things. has to breathe, man. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, no, he was blown away. He, he he was so fortunate that we came out there. I don't even know if he got other prices from other people, but it didn't really matter to him after I left there. And didn't you guys cut in a ridge vent in there? Yes, or? he didn't have a ridge vent either. It was so that even pelt, made pelt it even, and everything. So everything. He had gable vents. I told him the myth of, about okay. gable vents. That's our yeah. He kept asking, "What about my gable vents? What about my gable vents? Should we leave them if you cut the ridge?" I was like, "No, you, the the the." The easiest way I can explain that to somebody is it confuses the air in there. You don't get the draw that right. you're supposed supposed to get. Okay. You, your house yeah. gets draw. It 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 sucks in through the soffit area and then comes out through through the, the ridge vent. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. You got to get that fresh air right. to suck yeah. through there. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. 
So I said, we'll close them off for you. We'll get your bathroom vent up through the roof, um, replace all the damaged sheeting because your roof's not leaking. It's just not properly ventilated. Right. It was good stuff, man. Like I was, yeah. I was banging on all eight cylinders that day. Yeah, that feels yeah, good when you can let yeah. someone know right, something. Right. Someone else might not tell them the real deal. Yeah. Well, right. yeah, the, the point, of, the moral of the story you know, was, I kind of got them. off track. Was is yeah. I anybody could have came out there and just tore his roof off, yeah, absolutely. and put a new roof on without yeah. correcting and the issue. Would have had the same thing. That happen. was the thing that bothered me more than yeah. anything. Is that right. I think a lot of guys, a lot of other companies, or or maybe they don't give a shit, or but are just are not educated enough. Yeah, to understand yeah. what is happening with the house, with right. the home. Yeah, because I mean, we anyone probably could have went in there and said, "Look, you need a new roof yeah. because of this, because yep. of this, because we'll of this." We'll replace some damaged right. sheeting. Yeah. yeah, and anyone that's not educated on it would have been right. okay with that. Yeah, you because know? there, there's visible sign that there's something going on. You need a new roof. Yeah, man. So you guys do free diagnosis. Yeah, absolutely. Man. That Either, was free. Yeah. If he chose not to go with us, that was free. Free estimate. Free inspection, that was free. That right. my time out there was free. Yeah. All of it. My my proposal, my inspection, that whole shit. When you're on your game and you got a system down that's been proven through all the recessions, through everything that's went up and down, you just come in and you it here's what it is. Yeah. Man. Right. After you Absolutely. listen to somebody, yeah. Yeah. then you know what you know. Right. And yep. then you know you can pull it off. Absolutely. So, yeah. you know, um, and that's what homeowners want. I mean, listen, I've learned it. We talk about it all the time. They want somebody that they can hold accountable just to do what they say they're going to do. Absolutely. And you do it a little bit better than what you tell them yeah. Yeah, at the end of the day. Yeah, um, so there's a lot of, and you guys are hiring sales professionals. Yes. yes. And I say that because you really need, you have a lot of people to get back to. Yeah. And yes. your expansion within that is important. So Absolutely. Um, what does it look like? What does their day a little bit look like? Um, and like what areas person? are they working? Yeah, okay. what areas they work? Okay, so the areas that they would be working is typically the the York, the Hanover, the Mechanicsburg, Camp Hill, um, Delta, Red Lion, um, you know, York County, Adams County, Dolphin County area, I okay. guess, um, have been most of the, the calls that have been coming in. Um, they, it, they can... You know, as many leads as they can handle a day, a week, a month, is as many leads as they, they can get. You, yeah. you know what I mean? And I'm not requiring them to to do to make cold calls. I'm not requiring them to canvas the areas. I'm not asking you them to purchase to. <laughs> to purchase leads for me because I know there's companies right. out there Listen, that they have to purchase business, leads from. You, yeah. There's no one giving now, you I'm leads. asking you to suit up, show up, answer yeah. the email, take the phone call, go out, sell yourself, Sell our products because our products are the best in the market. Our windows, our shingles, our well, siding. What did I tell you today? If I had a barbecue, I would have had. If it wasn't so hot, right? And I was just selling. I would have had a little barbecue mm -hmm. out there and had mm -hmm. hot dogs, hamburgers, mm -hmm. and and uh, ask people to like the Facebook page. Yeah, right. You know, yeah. I mean, you guys communicate. You're everywhere. Billboards, huh? Yeah. Where's yeah. the billboards? You got billboards all over the place. I just had them switched up, and right. I added a few too. So, so, so I moved a couple around that I felt like were getting stale. Yeah. Um. So we moved them around a little bit. Uh, little, Names little, on little the trucks. Been reaching out to me. She's got a couple places. They're running a pretty good discount right now. I think I'm going to partner up with the York Business uh, York Builders Association. Has some digital signs. That we're going to partner up on and, awesome. and split the, 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 the time yeah. of the digital flipping thing that it flips. Yeah. Um, so we, we got some other things in the pipeline. Um, They're always marketing. marketing. Yeah. Always. You know, that's the always. Thing. It's always. Like, always. And, and I don't even know if it's right to say this. It's, like, it's almost like we're not even a roofing company. We're, we're a marketing company. I mean, who went into the home shows like you guys? You just came in and didn't even, you were just like, here's what we're doing. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to walk by those booths and we're just like looking. Yeah. Like, what are these guys well, doing that, here? Yeah, the display that you had was an amazing display. display. put us out there. And yeah. honestly, Chris, you yeah. you believe in what we do. Shane Absolutely, believes man. in it. Shane, you got a reputation you have to uphold. And you have no problem cold calling our job site. Just rolling up on the job site, not knowing what you're going to roll into. But you feel comfortable enough to just go live. 
Because yes. you feel comfortable enough that we're doing the job the right the first time. Right. Do you, yeah, I mean, you know this I mean? culture is amazing, and we're yeah. glad to be a part of it. Yeah, yeah. and you know? I'm glad you're a part of it, so, too, man. We'll take this to whatever level the sky's the limit, like I told Chris Baker years ago when I first met the guy. We can take this to any place you want to take this. And yeah. same with, a, with our people who come work for us. If someone's looking for a job and wants to be a salesperson, we can take this to any level that they want to take this. Right. And what a great industry. Here's the thing, like, I think I'm a salesperson, so my thinking is a salesperson. Yeah. You know, with all the stuff you've been through historically all these times, mm -hmm. right, going back to the 2008, the house, all that stuff, everything that's went on with the market, um, this COVID, everything, still going stronger than before. Yes. It's yeah. like going from a, a straight six to like a 454. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, the man. thing's packed up. She's got some yeah. carbs on it. She's ready to go. But that's what it's like. It's it's got a solid foundation mm -hmm. of good people that appreciate this culture and are this culture. Mm -hmm. It's a spider web of connected humans that mm -hmm. care about what they do, understand how the circle works, yeah, mm -hmm. right? That this is all feeding everything else. Yep. And at the end of the day, the giving, like to um, Wayne Scott, um, harvest, uh, transitional living, harvest yeah. living, architecture, yeah. all that, like that at the end of the day, that's why real, like that's why I work. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't take me a lot to eat. It doesn't take you a lot to eat, right? You know, mm -hmm. so you know what I mean? Like yeah. it doesn't take you a lot. You're not out there. You love giving. Yeah, and man. at the end, you have to have, a, this is a platform for giving yeah. and giving a homeowner peace of mind. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, that is awesome. You saw yeah. that lady. She was so happy, the president. Yes. And with Harley Davidson, yeah. Senator Puppy Harley. Yeah. But you have to ask people questions like that. Just so you know, sales tip, just you should want to know. Yeah. Right. How'd she name it Harley? Yeah. Wasn't that a cool story? That yeah. was a cool story. To honor her husband who loved Harley's yeah. and the color of the puppy. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And she came up and she was glad to be yeah. on there. Right. And she did a great job. Yeah. She came back out when I when I went back, she came back out and she had asked me to make sure everything was cleaned up. And I was like, absolutely. I said, I'm gonna treat your home. Like it's my own home. And she looked, she stopped because she was walking away when I said that. She stopped and looked back up at me because I was on the roof. She was like, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were you all know? happy. Everyone right. was there. The, the maintenance people were there. The landscaper, yeah. shout out to Inch. Everyone was yep. there. Yep. You know, it was just a great community event yeah. today. It was. Yeah. It was. You know, it, all we were missing was the grill and hot dogs. Right? Yeah. That's York time. City was out there. They yeah. drove out and said hi. Uh -huh. You yep. know, Keith was out there, everybody. Yeah, it was yeah, just Scott a fun time. There. All the guys, awesome. Scott was out Scott there. Was there. Yeah. Yep, we got a hustle muscle shot yep. with Scott. It was yeah. good to see you. Yeah. And everyone was participating, yep. making sure it was cleaned up nice. And everyone's properties were respected. Yeah. The job was getting done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And luckily, the storm didn't come yet. Yeah. No. The, so. Chuck just said it's rolling through mechanics yeah. right now. Christy, right. thank you for those words. You're awesome, too. We do the easy mm -hmm. stuff. This up here, this is the easy stuff. You guys... All the work that you guys do in the community, you guys do the hard stuff. So mm -hmm. thank you. Yeah. The community's blessed to have you guys. Right. Um, oh, you know, Chris, good Scott. to see you. <clears throat> yeah, Wayne, I, yeah, he's going to be yeah. coming on, and we're going to do some shows yeah. uh, for the Trey and Boo that's uh, switched to July or something. We're, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but what a great thing. Great yeah, people absolutely. in the community. Yes. I want to give Wayne a, a shout-out real quick. He's got some events coming up. Um, the Trey and Boo is going to be coming up, like you said. He actually just took over president of the York Bears, the, the youth football organization. Nice. So signups are starting for that. Let's get the kids out, get them conditioned. Um, you know, I'm, I'm sure there's going to be a fundraiser soon. Team. We're not sure how we're going to do that, but uh, we're we're going to plan some sort of fundraiser to generate some money because uh, the funds have fallen to the wayside. Um, the kids need uniforms, helmets, um, all kinds of stuff. He's trying to keep the kids. Healthy and happy. Yeah. yeah. Um, so safe. he's trying to upgrade. Yeah. yeah, safe. That was the word I was yeah. looking for. So he needs, you know, <laughs> pads and helmets, and, and I'm sure the ref cost money. Like, I know in softball, yeah. baseball, stuff like that. Yeah. When we played, we had to pay. And it's not even as much. Right. right. And if they're looking for refs are hard to find. Right. Yeah. And he's starting from scratch, yeah. from what it sounds like. So right. he's trying to take this thing to a whole yeah. other level. And it's so important. I talked to him for, mm -hmm. for quite a bit on the phone, um, like last week, I believe it was. And... Just, just the compassion that he has for wanting to help these kids because mm -hmm. he was one of those kids. Yeah, man. He was one of those kids that didn't yeah, have that's what takes, that's anyone what keeping an eye on him. That's what gets my heart. Right yeah, there. you know what yeah. I mean. And he knows mm -hmm. how important it is to occupy these kids' time. Yeah. To have have good leadership mm -hmm. with them. You know, Absolutely. show them the right direction. Be there for them. 
you know, he, he even goes the extra mile. And I don't even know this, but you know, there's some kids that work in these programs that, that are not work that play these mm -hmm. programs, play basketball, play baseball, play football that don't have parents in their life. And Wayne takes time out of his day to take them to yeah. and from practice. Yeah. Like, yeah, and I don't know how he finds the time to do it because he's involved with so many so much things. stuff, man. Like, so I much stuff. I don't know how he does it. Yeah, really yeah. Don't. I mean, half of the, or not, I'm not going to say half, but there was a good number of um, York um, football players that were homeless in the way that didn't have stable homes that they had to switch. Right. You know, so the most important thing for us is to level um, the playing field in our in our circumference, right? Mm -hmm. In our area, mm -hmm. 60 miles, 90 miles, 100 miles, whatever it is. Right. You take care of your block, your community, your your area code, your zip code. That's doing your part mm -hmm. at Absolutely. the end of the day. And if everyone does it, then it just keeps going spider webbing. Right? Yes. Um, so that's why looking for good qualified salespeople. Yeah. Right? Like, yeah. there has to be a way to, to make all this happen. And it's a circle. It's the shares. It's the invites. It's the tagging a friend that might be into sales. It's maybe putting this in a group. Um, it's maybe starting a watch party and spend a few minutes and invite a couple friends or maybe picking yeah. some that you think are charismatic. Mm -hmm. I The sales jobs I got, someone else always told me, Shane, you should go do this. You know? right. I was like, I can't do that. <laughs> They're like, bro, you can sell anything. I didn't sell anything. It was a great culture. Right. Yeah. And then they taught me how to present or whatever. And then, mm -hmm. you know, if you're, if you're charismatic, you're charismatic and, and you like it, you know, yeah. right. Um, yeah. You just have to have like in baseball, mm -hmm. you know, listen, salespeople, four to 10, five out of 10, all that stuff. But you can't be convinced that you're a salesperson. Right. If you know and someone, go ahead. If you know someone that's a teacher, a server, a bartender, they're salespeople. Mm hmm. Right? Yeah. They're selling their service. Absolutely. That's how they earn their tip. Absolutely. And they can do better for themselves. Not that they're not doing good, but they might have had a hiccup with COVID at the restaurant. Right. So now what they can do is do a career that can give them the mobility and the freedom, but it also can give them the income to call it a career. Yeah. yeah. The sky's the limit on it too, man. We're busy. Absolutely. We are busy, busy. We can take you know? it to any level. Yeah. Any You're level not going to have time to sit down and cold call. Uh -uh. No, no, I don't want you to. And nobody do that. wants right. to. That's yeah. the thing. That's I what I love. Do. I said yeah. the whole time about yeah. here. Yeah, a good someone that's good in communication with people doesn't want to be the marketing end. Even yeah. though they are, once they get rolling, yeah. In the beginning, they're they want to focus on presenting it and it, being comfortable and taking care of the yeah, customer. And, and I want them that. to have the time to focus on them, walk them through, educate them. I don't need them out knocking on doors. Right. I'll yeah. do the digital door knocking for them. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. They don't physically have to go out and canvas an area. Now, there may be at some point in time where I'll have canvassers go well, out. You but it's it, usually yeah. kids, you know, summer in the summer going out, canvassing an area like like Chuck was saying. There's a storm rolling through Mechanicsburg. Well, I might send a group of kids up there and, and start throwing door hangers on doors. But I wouldn't necessarily expect the salesperson. Now, if he's from that culture, yeah. by all means, experience me with that. Give yeah. give me your input on that. Like I'm all ears. Like if yeah. you can bring something to the table, I am Absolutely. more than willing to listen. I mean, again, when I was younger, it was my way or the highway. Over trial and error and smashing my head against the wall. Like I've learned to have an open mind to listen and ask questions. Mm -hmm. you, you know what I mean? I have to do that if I want to continue to keep growing the business the way that we're growing the business. We, I have to be that way. I have to listen and yeah. take Chris's suggestions. Let's listen to what he's saying. Hey, we should probably do this. 90, 85% of the time, I'm like, okay. The other 15% of the time, I'm like, okay, but throw yeah, a little twist in it. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? But right. I bounce off his eye. He's his eye. He bounces his ideas off me all the time, saying vice versa. Do you know what I mean? I give him the responsibility to make those command decisions, and I trust him to do that. That's what makes him feel like he belongs. Absolutely. Yeah. Do you know what I'm yeah, saying? Absolutely. And that's what I try to do. That's how the culture started. Yeah. Gave him his sense of belonging. He has safety here. He's got a nice There's, truck, too. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. Yeah. He's got a good I mean, at the end of the day, too. when you go to work, you want to provide. Mm -hmm. If you work above average, you want above average. And, you know, so right. at the end of the day... What makes a job from a career is above, you can go above. You yeah. can fill the Christmas tree. Dude, you listen, can have a Thanksgiving. We, I'm sorry, I'm all, yeah, I'm, I'm, love it. I'm all fired right. up tonight, man. <laughs> um, the, the, we had a meeting Monday, and I'm looking around the room, and, and you know, Chris got a truck, Brandon got a truck, Brandon's putting a roof on his house, he's getting HVAC, putting his house. 
Bob's fixing his house up. I talked to him on Harvest. Saturday. Yeah, he, he's at Lowe's buying himself a, a power washer. Um, uh, Colin rolling up in a motorcycle. Um, Chuck's Chuck rolling rebuild up. rebuild his motorcycle. Yeah, Chuck bought a motorcycle, <laughs> rebuilt the motorcycle, rolled up on his motorcycle the other day. Yeah. Um, the list goes on. And we're still deep in COVID. Yes, and we're still <laughs> deep in COVID. We're buying Bobcats. We got an equipter. Yeah, you know, come on, join the team. If you want to kick some ass, Come join the team of ass kickers. Amen. Do you know what I'm saying? Amen. That's the bottom line. Before I keep forgetting, I keep on wanting to say this. We're birthday. not just looking for, I don't know whose birthday it is, but hold that thought. Yeah. I don't want to forget about yeah. that either. Okay? <laughs> yeah. Okay. We're not just hiring sales people, experienced sales people. We are hiring experienced window installers, uh, uh, you know, siding experience, roofing experience, and gutter men or women. Gutter men. Gutter guys that know how to install gutters. So a they, license. Yes, experience is necessary. I need your own tools. You know, maybe I just hired a kid that had commercial roofing experience. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not saying you need to know all of these facets of construction that we're involved with. Yeah, if no. you're a gutter installer, give us a call. If you've installed shingles before, not just like when you were we're in high school. That, yeah. You know, you, you got to have some sort Within of the last year yes. or two. I mean, right. you have to because be fresh. we need someone that can come in and hit the ground running. Because technology's changed. Yes, yeah. we right. have so much work. We got windows, we got roofing <clears throat> repairs to do. The storms are coming through. You know what I mean? We got gutters that need installed. Doors, uh, doors, yeah. new storms, construction. Penny, if you're watching, call going crazy about right now, man. Change. That's <laughs> Is it Colin's birthday? Whose Collins? birthday was it? It was Tyler. Tyler. Tyler, yeah. Yes. We were going to say on the show, too. I know we said it today. Yes. Yeah. Happy birthday, Tyler. Yes. Yeah, man. For Happy all you do. Related birthday, Tyler. Yeah, man. Appreciate you. Yes. Happy birthday, man. Celebrate those birthdays out there. We don't get many, so let's celebrate the ones we have. We appreciate your birthdays, man. Yes. Get the cake, get the ice yeah. cream, yeah, get man. the brownies. Absolutely. Absolutely. Let's do it. Yeah, man. Or get the donuts at Smoky Bell. Oh, and Colin wants <laughs> donuts and coffees on Fridays again. Yeah. I stopped. Yes. I put the brakes on that. So yes. Friday mornings. Keith, if you're listening, what time? make sure usually about 6, 630. All right. Five, between 530 and 630. If you hear a rumbling, it's me. Right yeah. on. Come Friday on, mornings. Yeah. Come on down, have some Dunkin' Donuts and coffee with us. Friday mornings, sometime between 530 and 630. The donuts and coffee will still be there. So yeah. come on down. So does the salesperson come into the office? Uh, I mean, obviously in the beginning when in. you're training, yeah. it's different. Right, right. right. But, but if you're getting results, you're doing your stuff. First of all, you want to be a part of the culture. Yes. Right. Um, and you definitely want to go to your jobs. I mean, right. that, that just changes it. When you go to a job, which I don't need to tell you if you, that just puts what you did and you're like, wow. Mm -hmm. When you see the people, not the job, yes, right. it looks pretty, mm -hmm. but when you see the people afterwards and they appreciate it, you're like, oh, this is serious. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. they had a leak, they were nervous. That rain, Absolutely. that wind, mm -hmm. that hail, those trees, right? Like, that stuff, I'm a homeowner. Like, some people just, they won't sleep good. Right. Right? Their biggest investment's leaking, and they makes, understand you how it works. You feel like your life is so unmanageable when you have a roof leak. Like, oh. it is like your world is crashing in around or you. Or if your gutters are pouring down, and and it's going out there, and, leaking and it's leaking basement. into your basement. Yeah, man. Absolutely. You know what I mean? That's, that's just gut wrenching. Well, that's how you get the cracks in your foundation and stuff. Because if it's leaking and then the water gets down there and it freezes, and Gio, so you probably know more about that than I do. But I've watched sidewalks crack in the summertime. I've watched uh, porches, patios crack. Those cracks, what that's from is water gets down in there and it freezes because it's not directed away from your home correctly. Right. Uh, can we do some shout outs? All right. Sure. Let me fix this phone to see which one. Gio, right. Bobby Witt. Bobby Wood said he's moving up here. Nice, Bobby. We're waiting yeah, for you. TNT. Renovations is coming up. Our first franchisee. Um, who else is on here? Brian, good to see you, brother. Derek Schaefer, I love you too, man. Thanks for working here, brother. Um, Chuck, get in a truck. Colin, I don't know what that means. What are you eyeballing? What happened? Did I say something? Ricky Day, Dennis Hahn, Cindy Davis, Trevor, Betty. Good to see you, Betty. Thanks for joining us tonight. Gary, my buddy Gary. He's my neighbor down in Delaware there. Good to see you, Gary. He owns a, a, a significantly sized uh, landscaping business out of Lancaster. Nice. Yeah, man. He's a good dude. Hard-working guy. Works for every penny he has. It wasn't handed to him. Um, 
My dad actually came up today to check out the Equipter. I haven't oh, seen yeah? my dad in months. Nice. Yeah, he's Since a mechanical show. Yeah, right. Since New York show, probably, right? right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, he's a mechanical engineer and uh, used to draw and design man lifts for Grove Worldwide. So when I told him we had this, I sent him like 50 pictures of it. He was like, probably just rolling in. I'm coming up to him. No, well, he wanted to rip it apart. Oh, really? On every safety feature that they didn't do right. Like, he was fired up. Yeah? Yeah. Did he find any? Absolutely. 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 <laughs> Absolutely. He tore it up from the floor up and came up with some better ideas of how it should be done and maybe a simpler way to get the shingles off the roof, which I really like his idea. That's very cost effective. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. We'll so that's coming soon that. too. Yeah. We'll have to talk about that. Uh -huh. I'm curious. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> so you can go and like this page, please. Uh, appreciate it if you don't like the page. WW321 Gutter Done is the website. Go check out the website. Roofing, gutters, siding, windows. You can do it in a they have financing. You guys have financing, yeah, right? Yeah. You have a lot of different plans, a, a lot, lot of different plans. Options. Now's yes. the time to go get this stuff taken care of. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about uh can we touch base real quick on the options that you have? You have same as cash? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We got a six month, twelve month, and eighteen month, same as cash. A year and a half. Same as cash. Yeah. We have That's a five awesome. year, a seven year, and a 10 year plan. Now, the most cost saving one that I feel that if I had to do it, I would go with yeah. the five year plan. Okay. The five year plan, you save more money. Um, you can actually get a lower interest rate if you do an arch payment. Like if you allow them to take the payment each month out of your bank account, mm -hmm. I realize you save like a point and a half. Right. Yeah, man. That's good stuff right there. You only need a 660 credit score mm -hmm. to be approved. Please um, share. Uh, what else? Uh, so, But the 10-year plan will definitely lower your price. Um, but, of course, you're paying an extra five years of interest right. on, on your roof. Um, so I feel, you know, the best plan, except for the, the same as cash, yeah. deals. No interest, no payments for six months, 12 months, or a year and a half. Like, whoa. Right. Yeah, that's like, good, whoa. Like, if you That's can't good. get your $4,500 roof paid off in a year and a half, not that you can't. After that, if you don't have it paid off, okay, mm -hmm. no, there's no pre-penalty payments at all whatsoever. It goes into what's called a seven-year plan at 24, at basically 25% right. for seven years, which yeah. still really isn't that bad. Yeah. If you break it out over seven years, the payments are like nothing. Right. You, you yeah. know what I mean? You paid nothing for a year and a half. Now you got another seven years on the back half of that. Yeah. At 25%, which kind of stinks. But I want to throw that out there because I don't want someone, I don't want to do the, the smoke and mirrors like, oh, this is such a great thing. You don't have to make any payments, no interest, you right. know, for, for 18 or 12 or six months. You know, there is going to be interest, you know, but it goes into a seven year plan. Like, you can't beat that. Right, right. So. Yeah, so there's not too many, not too many companies out there that are all. No, we're actually cash. looking. Another bank wants to help us out too. So if you would get, let's say they would deny you, the bank that we're using now would deny you. I have another bank that is willing to back us, Green Sky, yeah. that awesome. I've heard is actually a lot easier to get financing through. So I'm kind of they struck my curiosity. So I'm going to listen to what they have to say, and then maybe we can offer different kinds of money. Right for different interest rates and different plan year, yeah. you know, plans and stuff like that. So I want to give options. I want to help everybody out. Yeah, no. you know what I mean. I had a woman the other night that was denied. She was like, "I'm sure she was embarrassed." Now I didn't see it. We don't see it. If someone's denied, I don't see if they're denied, and I don't see why they're denied. Right. So don't let that scare anybody. Like, oh my God, I know I got this and that, but six sixty. You know, I don't think that's that's that high or low to not be able to get financed. I think most people probably in that average, yeah. 660 is probably average. Mm -hmm. But so she she called me and she was like, look, I got, it's, it must've came back and said that she had um, too much debt to re income to ratio. Okay, she was like, do you mind sending it in my husband's name? I was like, absolutely, it'll take me five minutes. Right. Bada bing, bada boom. He got the text message, the app through his, via text message. Clicks on the app. He puts all his personal information in there. I don't see any of it. Um, he was approved in 10 minutes. Bam. We're putting his roof on, windows, two sliding glass doors, and a storm door, baby. Awesome. Smashed it. Nice. New construction with grids, double yeah. hung. They got single hungs. It's falling. The single hung is falling out. It's in there all catty, yeah. crooked. And uh, we're giving them mesos. We're giving them the weather buster, windows, nice. sliding glass doors. You know what I mean? Double awesome, hung, man. new construction windows with a nailing fin with a brick mold. <laughs> 
bam, it's going to look like a new house. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, for that real. That is awesome, man. What are we seeing here? Uh, we are looking at the Equipter, which is a roofer's buddy that lift the actual dump trailer lifts up to the roof. The guys are installing a lifetime roof. You see the GAF HDZ shingles up there, the felt buster, the ice and water. Uh, there's Cobra Ridge vent. You can't see that was actually on the ground laying over here. Uh, the cap shingles are actually laying right there. I saw him move them over here. And then, um, what else? Oh, we replaced all the sheeting was damaged. Oh, this yeah. roof was actually installed not that long ago, mm -hmm. but they installed it over damaged sheeting. Ah. Yeah. I and saw it had, that. And it had poor ventilation. I mm -hmm. saw that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so the roof wasn't, and th this whole place is like that. Yeah, that's not a colony. Right? I'm going to pull you some more pictures up if we can go through. Uh, let's see, I had a couple videos. Um, if there's any, is that where they're starting to put uh, shingles down now? Yes, it looks like he has some cut shingles there. Yep. Yep. So, so the, the before that goes down, there's the new sheathing. Then this is the, the underlayment, the synthetic yep, that's felt the synthetic paper. Felt, and then felt the black stuff you see right there is yeah. ice and water. That's ice and water. Yes, sir. And that's, why is that there? Why is that important? What could happen? Well, you, you see them. where the gutters are right here? Yeah, yep, yep. Ice can build up in here and will back up underneath your shingles. Okay. That's okay now. Why that's okay is because the ice and water. Because it wasn't there. I watched them tear it off. Yeah, it was yeah. all felt paper. The yeah, back and of it was just, this is just plain paper, basically. The back of ice and water shield has like a tar, a tar coating on it. So when you puncture that with staples or nails, it self seals around those nails. So yep. the water can't sneak down through those nail holes. Their their mm. um, bores were very thin. Yeah, it was a half inch plywood. It didn't even seem that big. Mm -hmm. When me and Keith were looking at it, I was like, wow, they were super flimsy. <laughs> yeah. No, really. Right. And and uh, moist. Right. Yeah. Yeah, they were heavy, moist, yeah. but very flimsy. Yeah, because yeah, they've probably action. just been sucking all that. And if you looked at the there. shingles, you would be like, you wouldn't even know that was under there. Right. No. That's yeah. crazy. I know. Yeah, so yeah. anyway, share this, invite it. You guys are looking for sales professionals. Yep. Yes. Yes. Um, and uh, we're also looking for service techs, yes. windows installers, gutter guys. Um, if you know your way around a job site, please call me, 717-916-0732. You can reach out to me on Facebook. You can send TC Backer Construction um, a message. You can send Ty a message. You can hit Shane up. Yep. Um, there's numerous ways um, that you can reach out to us. Even if you know somebody that may possibly be looking for work, I still want to have a conversation with them because mm -hmm. I honestly think – if I can get someone on the telephone, I can I can talk you into our culture. Yeah, um, absolutely. Uh, I, I really do think. Um, I don't think that anyone will regret coming over and joining the team. No, I don't think so. Um, either, you know, come have a converse, have a conversation with me. Come have some lunch or something. Yeah, um, you have to want to work though, for sure. Absolutely, because there's absolutely. work. They need your help. Like this is an organization, a culture. If you come on. They need you to say what you said you were going to do when the day when you came. Yes. Like, absolutely. that's all. Yes. Right? So the day, like, you know, like, Literally. no one can push anyone to work. Like, no. This is a culture where everyone's rowing really hard. Right. And so it wouldn't be right to the team to make someone row extra hard for you. Mm -hmm. No. It's that kind of culture. No. We're mm -hmm. going to hold you accountable just as you expect us to hold, or just as we expect you to hold us accountable. Absolutely. Amen. Um, that's yep. just kind of how it works. We're a team. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when someone slips up, the, the, everyone's there to pick them up. Absolutely. That's just kind of how it works. Yes. All day. Mm -hmm. Boom. So look for that sign. Get in front of it. Uh, weather uh, um, behind the tool belt t-shirts are coming. So look for those. Yes. Chris has those coming. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, to the T, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so it's market uh, to the T outfitters. So look for those behind the tool belt. Hashtag behind the tool belt. Hashtag weather buster. Hashtag sales professional. Yes. Experience. Like, if there was anything that, I mean, y'all do so much, I hate to even say anything. But if you could put some sugar on top, it'd be tag a salesperson or someone that you know is just a nice person. Mm -hmm. yeah. That has good energy. Yeah. That likes to work hard. Yes. That, um, you know, it might be a good fit for this. Yeah. Right. You know, there's yeah. nothing wrong with the conversation. No. Yeah. And, no. and honestly, even if it, even if we come to find out that it's not a good fit, you know, if you take the plunge and you try it out for a couple of weeks, because this line of work is not for everybody, no. especially a day like today. Yeah. 96 degrees outside, mm -hmm. probably 140 on the roof. Yes. Not everyone can work eight hours, 10 hours in that. No. You know? And I will not judge you if you can't. Yeah. No hard feelings. Right. You know what I mean? It, yeah. It's not for everyone. But 
if this is something that you're passionate about, man, I'm telling you, there's not a better place to work. Absolutely. In this line of business. You know, if you're not afraid to work, you know what I mean? If you're not afraid to work overtime, if you have a family that you need to provide for, this is the place to come work. Absolutely. You know, the, the guys are working six, six, seven days a week right now. Um, and typically that six, five, five and a half days a week is, is, is average. Yeah. For us. I mean, the work under 48 hours a week is not, that just isn't, that isn't what happens here. It's always been that way. Right. So if, if you have a family that you, that you want to provide for, if you're looking for a career, you know, a yeah. home, a yeah. place to retire Not from, we have health insurance, we, we pay uh, holidays, uh, vacation, um, we haven't, we kind of put the brakes on the 410K thing, but we're definitely still doing that. Yeah. Um, uh, Barker reaches out to me all the time, and then I know Shane introduced me to some great people. Um, you know what I mean? I just, at this point in time, we really just need to find the time to sit down with the people again and decide what yeah. options and which direction we're going to go. Yeah. Um, you know, but I mean, things are great and they have been great. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, so Absolutely. if, if you have a job, but you're afraid to leave your job, I understand fear and allowing fear to control you. There's nothing wrong with having a conversation with us. Absolutely. Do you know what I'm saying? It, you're, you're not going to go to hell for it. You're, you're not going to get in trouble. You're not going to be shunned. There's nothing wrong with you trying to expand your options and better your, better your wealth. No. You yeah. know? When I was looking for a sales job, well, a lot of them, somebody once said, though, they said, Shane, look at your back paychecks mm -hmm. over the last five years and tell me, have they gone up or down in your history? Because you've made changes. Mm -hmm. And I looked at my paychecks, not the job, and my paychecks have went up. And most people's have. If you look at your paycheck, yeah. go 10 years back. Mm -hmm. You're making progress. Mm -hmm. And if you're in sales and you're not, you're probably not in sales. Um, right. So Absolutely. a lot of times it's just culture. Yeah. Really, yeah. if you're a good salesperson, you just need to find the culture. And also with COVID, some people got changed into a culture they, they that they were used to. Mm -hmm. That's not going to be that way anymore. Right. So right. we're talking to you, teachers, um, waitresses, um, bartenders, car uh, people in the car business. I can think yeah. of all those. We want to talk to all of you. Barbers, yeah. all of you. Yeah. Hairdressers, amazing. Yeah. Right. You listen to people all day and service them well, with... Lauren came from the medical sales mm -hmm. industry. Yes. You yep. know what I'm saying? So she she didn't have... Now, her dad was... I don't know if he was a general contractor. He was an engineer, but they built everything. Like, her dad built yeah. Yeah. everything. Okay? Yeah. So she grew up around that. So she had construction knowledge. She knows what shingles are. She knows what gutter, gutters are. She knows what windows are. You know what I mean? And she's... She was so motivated, she could probably tell me more about the windows than I can to someone. You know what I mean? Because she just dove right into it. That's what yeah. she did. She's a salesperson. She knows she needs to know everything about it. Right. You yeah. know what I mean? So she yeah. can educate the person who's trying to purchase the windows. Yes. You know what I mean? So she dove right in. So anyone coming from the medical sales end of things, um, you know, like you said, car, car dealership or real estate or insurance. Know, insurance. Yeah. yeah, Shane was out trying to hustle up some roofs today for us. Yeah, so, uh, definitely. I can bring some roofs. I mean, if you love it, you love it. But it's the culture. Like, for sales, two things were important to me. Was making sure I had people to go see. She'll tell you, when I almost left insurance sales because I didn't have leads. Mm -hmm. Right? That's the number one reason. And the other thing was to make sure that the product that you're delivering is what they say they are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because you can't sell... You can't be a good salesperson, and they're not delivering on the back end. Mm -hmm. That's a problem. Yeah. Right. So and so when you have those two things, you're like, come on, yeah, let's yeah. go. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then you go out and you do your thing and you help people and it's fun. And then, you know, people are you know it just grows. Yeah. yeah. It's and rewarding. You stay focused. It's yeah. rewarding. It is. It's very rewarding. It yeah. Is. And then you when you go out and get a referral yeah. or get a picture with somebody and they tell you, you know how much you help them. Mm -hmm. I mean, imagine someone has a mom or a dad or someone that is has respiratory problems and they have a roof uh, leaking. Come on, think about it, or a baby. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or an animal, yeah. right? Like, they're right. concerned and not sleeping at night. Yeah. yeah. And they're still making the mortgage payment. Mm -hmm. So that's a lot that you have on your shoulders. Right. Yeah. You become a roofing superhero, man. Yeah. yeah. So, Absolutely. you know, you're saving one family at a time, yep. one roof at a time, one That's window right. at a time. Who wants to have a window and look out a smoggy window? And most people don't think someone will fix one. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? Mm. Or one sure door. 
You know what I mean? Like, you've been wanting a door for a long time, and you finally get that door with yeah. the screen, yeah. everything. You're like, wow. Yeah. Like, we work that's hard the, for that. That's the third day. So, no, so, <laughs> so I'm saying, yeah. you good but, but, it, yeah. but it matters. And the colors, like, the, when I went out I at the home show, it. and we saw the, the black gutters and the different colors, mm -hmm. like, the siding, it's true color now. You don't get the fading. You could have a house, you bought a nice house, and the siding is faded. And you're like, ugh. Because we had our sh our shutters were faded, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and now we took ours off, and it looks better. But you know, you can. Uh, did you guys do shutters? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I figured I just asked. Kurt's actually just sold some shutters. I did. To a lady. And did. so is the same theory on the shutters now? It goes through and through with those yes. resins or the yes. colors yeah. or whatever it's yeah, in when there? Yeah, you look at the front and spin it over, it's the same color on the yeah, back. It's, it's, it's manufactured the same lines that the vinyls. Um, same, same I, so you don't, I don't know the options. exact details behind the yeah. whole There's assembly system. There's actually only, but... I think, two companies that make shutters. One, Mid-American and Mastic. Yep. That's the only two shutter companies out there. And yep. you can usually match people's if someone needs some. Like, here's the thing. Most people, if you service them in one way, they're like, well, can you look at this? You know what I mean? Yeah. Right? Like, you got to notice yeah, that. Yeah. And people love that you'll service them. Absolutely. Like, if they have a leaky roof, you'll come out and fix the leak. Yeah. Yeah. And if you're like, listen, just like in insurance, I tell you, we'll get you this, but I'm not advising this. You need to understand. Listen, Chris went out to this lady's house. She thought she had shingles blown off, right? Yeah. Is that the same woman? That's the same he woman. He went out. She thought she had shingles blown off. It actually wasn't her house. It was the neighbor's house. Mm -hmm. But I guess, did she want shutters too? or? She, or yeah, she to, she, yeah, yeah, she wanted shutters. Yeah. Yeah, she wanted shutters too. So I went out. I took my little key ring. I have this this little key ring that has all these little mini shutters on it in all the different colors. Right. So and and they're literally I did oh, they're replicas, that? little tiny shutters. So we we picked out shutters and right. I put a guy on her roof to to check out her her damage and turns out she didn't there even was no her damage. roof was great. And how it was a three story townhome. How easy would mm. it have been for us to say to her, "Yep, you need a new roof." Yep. She'd have never known. Nope. Yeah. She'd have had no idea. I could have showed her pictures from anybody's roof that yeah. was damaged and said, "Yep." This is what your roof looks like. And I know there's companies out there that do that. Oh. Me and Lauren, I swear to God, and I'm not going to mention the company. We had an appointment set up for 1030 last week, one day, Tuesday. I roll up. There's a company already there. That I don't know why the homeowner scheduled us both to be at the same time. Now, granted, I was 15 minutes early. Okay. So I drove past. I saw their truck. I didn't see them. I went around the block. I looked up on the roof. I thought maybe they were doing repairs. I went around the block. I stopped and I looked through the houses. They were manipulating the shingles to look damaged. Swear to God, it made me sick on my stomach. Yep. Mm -hmm. That really yes. happens out there, man. That really I happens. could not believe it. I could not. You can ask Lauren. Yeah. I called Dave. I'm like, Dave, have you ever come across that before? Yeah. Have you ever experienced it? And if so, how did you handle that? I'm like, how did I believe you handle that? HVAC guy he was came out lifting and them up like this and creasing wow. them, made it crease. And you yeah. always say, get yeah, three because there was only damage on the front of the house, and an insurance company will only pay you to, to repair the front of the house yeah. because there was no other connecting roofs to this. Okay. Yeah. So they went on the back side of the house. They wanted because, the full Yeah, man. He went up and creased the shingles like this, snapped a picture. There was another guy as his lookout. There was two dudes in the truck. Yes. The one guy was the lookout. The other guy was, was all sneakily doing one of these, snapped the picture of it, moved to another spot, did that, made a crease in the shingles. Swear to God, that was last week. Wow. I could, it made me sick in my stomach. Yeah. Wow. I know you guys took, looked at my roof. and so, you know, yeah, Chris could have told her that Absolutely. there was damage to her roof. I got to sleep at night, though, man. Right. But now, granted, I think we might get the neighbor's roof that the shingles were blown yeah. off. I don't even know if they knew their roof was damaged. And, and so she just picked some She right. picked some shutters yeah. off of your key ring. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That had waiting for them to come in. Bam. Yeah. Sold her shutters. Yeah. Couldn't get her roof, but sold her shutters. Yeah. Good right. job, buddy. Good job. I'm just yeah. kidding. Yeah. She, she wanted shutters. Yeah, she, she, she wanted shutters. She wanted shutters. <laughs> but no, I, I honestly I think we're gonna put a roof on her on her neighbor's house because they do have right. they have damage they have storm damage up there. Um, I had actually Giovanni um, five o'clock six o'clock on a Friday mm -hmm. um, swung through at her house and hopped up on that roof last minute and checked it out and mm -hmm. went over everything and you know that's that's the kind of stuff that we're trying to do here, man. Yeah, man. It's, you know that's that's good stuff. It is good stuff, man. <laughs> and Gio said he remembers that house. Chuck said shake my head, and Christy said she got ripped off by two roofers. Yeah, 
Yeah, man, I hear it all the time. Well, we appreciate everyone. Episode 24, knocking yeah. it out of the park. Yeah, it was it. an amazing day. Yeah, man, it was a great day. Yep. Great job. We're, next yes. week, we're going to be a quarter awesome. of the way to 100 episodes, man. Wow. It's crazy. We have well over 100 Oh, episodes. we definitely do. Oh, but it's the show. official yeah. to, uh, behind the tool right. belt episodes. If yeah, you see the home counts. shows, tag me in the old home show. I miss those. Me too. Like, it'll never be that way ever again. We'll create them with, on the yes. rest. Yeah. I mean, we had coffee, no creamer, cheesesteaks, no fries, and it was all good. I will bring them. I will have Mark <laughs> Jones and Bricker's fries out the next tarot if we do. Nice. How's that sound? Nice, and we'll get people who have a community yeah, thing. Yeah. We'll bring Bricker, local businessman. Oh, we'll that'll be down. fun. He, yeah, he does hot dogs, fries, yes. whatever you want. Yeah. You tell yeah. me what truck yeah. you want out there, I'll have it out there. Yeah, for we'll you. have fun. We're going to we'll have, have everybody I mean, Steakhouse got a truck. Let's do a lunch. Yeah, where you at, Rob Ryan? Yeah. Got Let's do a lunch and have everyone show up. <laughs> yeah, that would be in awesome. In the next two weeks. And yeah. then get your picture yes. with one of us. Anybody right. on the team has got to get a picture and tag us. Hashtag behind the tool belt. Hashtag weather buster. Hashtag Sales professional. That's right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. right. That's right. Please. So seriously, at the end of the day, all this great stuff, they need sales mm. professionals. Yes, we do. Please. Really bad. It might yes. be your mom, your sister, your dad, your uncle, your sister. Tag them. Hi, yes. right, Chuck. See you in the morning, buddy. Love you all. See you guys. Donuts on yep. Friday at 6.30 in the morning. That's right. Yep. Donuts right. Friday at yep. 6.30. See everyone next Wednesday at 7.